welcome to this week's vlog. It is Tuesday. Yesterday I was at our other store in Tingalpa at the cafe and I just had a very stressful day because I'm new to that store. I didn't know where everything was and yeah, we had some technically technical difficulties. So that was a bit stressful. So I kind of just came home and crashed. Sorry, my tattoo. It's healing nicely, but it's so freaking itchy. I keep like accidentally scratching it at night. It does have like a second skin on it, but I can't help but scratch it because it's so itchy. Although I'm not directly scratching it, I'm just kind of like patting it like this, but I can't help it. Anyway, I've just been to work today. It's super gloomy weather outside today because we've had a bit of rain here in Brizzy. It's kind of like the spring rain kind of coming in. It's been pretty gloomy and I think it's meant to be gloomy till like early next week, so that's not fun. But I've just worked this morning. I finished nice and early and I've just been to Kmart to get a couple of things. Noodles. I've really been liking tuna lately for lunch. Of course, Vegemite. Soy sauce. Cumber. And then I went to Kmart because we needed some more coat hangers. More pillowcases in this like oatmeal colour um, for our European pillows because we only have ones that are cases. I've really been wanting to start a reading journal, like kind of like a, what do they call it? A, um, a bullet journal, but for reading. So I got this dot journal because I was looking around and not many of them have like, I don't know if you can see, but it's like dots instead of lines so that you can kind of make a grid out of it. Um, so I got this in this like nice green color, mostly because green was the only option. And then I've got these like pastel highlighters and these like colorful liners so I can do up like a bit of a reading spread because I am a supper for trackers and that kind of thing. I just love the satisfying feeling of like ticking something off once I've done it. And it'll be nice to like keep track of the books I've read and my thoughts while I'm reading it instead of just like forgetting about it at the end and like my favorite books of the year. Um, I might do a dedicated video to that maybe. So let me know if you want to see something like that. And I've got most of today off. So I figured I can do some like scrapbooking and such because that'll be fun. Yeah, that's really it. And for this week, I'm having some of my friends from work over for like a little dinner party on Thursday. So that'll be fun. And this weekend, we've got a really important Collingwood game. If you follow the AFL on Saturday, first Geelong. So we'll be watching that. So we might go to the pub and the market, of course. And Sunday, who knows? I'm working all weekend, so nothing crazy there. I'm a little late on the train, but I'm reading Ugly Love at the moment, Colleen Hoover. I know that everyone's read that book, but I've only just got hold of it from the library. So I'm gonna get stuck into that.
I've actually just been bullet journaling for my new reading book as I talked about before. So I've spent literally, I didn't even realize what the time was, but it's like three o'clock. I haven't had lunch. I feel like when I do like journaling and scrapbooking, I kind of like go into a trance and realize that three hours has been by. So I've been listening to my audio book at the moment. I'm still listening to Girls in the Garden and I'm really enjoying that. I'm almost done. I think I'm about 80% of the way through that. So I'll probably finish that soon. And I'll show you my spread that I've been doing. I in no way claim to be artistic or good at this in any form this is just like something random i've made that i think will work for me personally so over here i've got my yearly book count and i only started reading literally in may so that's why none of these months are done but so this is how many books i definitely won't get up to 18 but it looked weird just like stopping halfway on the page so uh may june july and then August isn't done yet, and then I just did a little picture. And then this is a yearly tracker for me reading every single day, which is like a good habit I'm trying to get in. So, and I accidentally did these around the wrong way. And this is like going back so far in time, I can hardly even remember. So I just like roughly did when I read these books, and then this is an accurate one for August, but I'll be keeping track of it more so throughout the next months of the year. And then I've done books of the year so I want to read 50 books for this year even though I only started reading in May so this is just like a spread to keep track of how many books I'm up to so it's the end of August and I've only read 15 so kind of need to get cracking on that if I want to read 50 and then this is starting my like individual months so I've got May and I'm going to print out some pictures of the books that I've read because I only read two books in May and then I've got the title my rating, author, when it came out, how many pages, and then two things I liked about it and two things I didn't like about it, and then same goes here. And then on the side, I've put in what genre it is, and then at the bottom, I'm doing like a cutout, so you can see the page count of each month, and I'll go all the way along and like cut it out on the side, so when you look down, you can see the yearly like page count, how many pages per month. Um, and this is June, this is I read a lot more in June and as I said I'll put photos of the book covers here and just because it didn't fit I only did like one thing I liked about it one thing I didn't and then all the star ratings and the page count down the bottom and that's all I've got so far I still need to do the one for July and the one for um, August I think I'm just gonna do them at the end of the month because as you can see like I won't be able to know like where how to rearrange it if I don't know how many books I've, I'm reading that month because I might have read two, I might have read like 10. So that's just the beginning. And then at the end of the year, I'll like revise for next year's book reading because it's obviously a lot easier to start tracking at the start of the year. So that's something I'm definitely going to do next year. But um, let me know if there's any like trackers you think that I could include into this and anything else that could be fun to do, any ideas. But yeah, that's kind of just how I'm gonna track it for the moment, but I might revise it when I go to do this next year. I'm just gonna keep going with this and do my one for July and August, cause I already, like it's August 30, and I know I'll finish the audiobook I'm listening to, but there's a couple other books I've started that I won't finish. So I won't include that in August, but I'll include that in September because that's when I'll finish the book and actually have an opinion on it. So yeah, that's the update for now That's what I've been spending pretty much my entire day doing so I'm having a lot of fun I used to like scrapbook and like doodle and draw So much when I was like 15 or so But I kind of just like forgot about it and like how much I love to do things like that like as I said, I used to just spend hours and hours and hours doing this kind of thing and it's been really nice to kind of revisit that part of my childhood and I'm very much enjoying it.
today. I had a day off, which is lovely. I'm currently listening to, I've had a thing for um, audiobooks at the moment whilst I'm still going with my current book. So I'm listening to The Unhoneymooners by Christina Lauren, which I'm not a huge like romance kind of person, but so I'm surprisingly enjoying it. And then I'm also reading Ugly Love at the moment which I'm loving, I'm loving it. And so the plan for today is I'm actually having a little dinner party games night tonight here at my house. So I'm gonna, we're gonna do like homemade pizzas and I need to head out and get some ingredients. And then I wanna go to uh, West End cause they have this like bougie supermarket there, Harris Farm Markets. And my favorite thing in the world is to get ingredients from there for like cheese boards. Because we're going to do like a cheese board and we'll bring games and we'll have some drinks and stuff. So I'm very excited for that. So I'm going to head to West End now so I can go and do that. cheap I don't want to buy it if I'm not going to use it like there's some stuff you can freeze but you can't freeze everything and then I also have got this is my favorite dip from there it's Thai chili and lime hummus it's amazing and then I got some milk for coffee because I didn't have any I got just for a bit of fruit on our cheese board I got a golden kiwi and a peach some crackers uh sun-dried tomato dip but oh, that'd be yummy Olives, uh, ham, salami, this like Turkish loaf, this is delicious, mozzarella cheese to go on top. I just got the shredded one because I'm lazy and I can't be bothered. But I think that's everything that I got for our pizzas and cheese board because the other girls are going to bring some stuff as well. So I'm really excited to like organize stuff because there's nothing more fun in the world to me than organizing a cheese board. So. I'm gonna have a lot of fun with that and I'm gonna kind of like pre-prep a few things so yeah I'm gonna do that now. I realized that I haven't shown my new coffee machine on here before I got it as like a birthday present it is the Barista it Express and it has the grinder attached to it as well and I got these little coffee cups at an op shop for like a dollar yeah, I got these cups because they're like wide at the top, which means I can do nice latte art. And yeah, this is the setup I have going. It's kind of hard to have enough counter space to have it here, just because we have very limited counter space anyway on here. I can't put it there and, you know, we kind of need this drying rack. So that's kind of the setup at the moment, but I'm gonna make a coffee. <laughs> Thank you. 